Hi everybody, it is April 16, 2018. This video is going to be just showing you a list of companies that have sold out to major corporations. And those companies have not changed their name, so a lot of people are believing that they're still buying products that are organic, healthy, natural, when unfortunately nothing can be further from the truth and I will also show you produce that you should stay away from and produce that has less pesticides on it and that includes organic yeah we have manifested a rather hellish reality here in our United States and trying to find foods that will sustain a, a, a strong immunity, a healthy body. It's getting harder and harder by the day. But I want to thank my subscriber for sending along this information. Garden of Life will become part of Nestle's. Garden of Life. I did not know about this company until that subscriber sent me this information. But apparently it's a Christian company that sells supplements and vitamins. Okay, this is what the owner of Garden of Life said. And this was, I believe, back in the fall of 2017. I could be wrong on that date, but dear Garden of Life fans, today we announce exciting news that Garden of Life will become part of Nestle. We are thrilled. This combination signals that USDA organic and non-GMO project verified nutrition based on real whole and plant-based foods has a seat at the world's largest tables. Wow. Yes, I spent time getting to know the people at Nestle, their vision and their values. Are you kidding me? I saw firsthand how much we have in common. Wow. They have no plans to change us. What we do, what we stand for, or what we believe. Our commitment to truly traceable practices Proven through third-party certifications, certified USDA organic and non-GMO project verified, gluten-free, NSF and informed choice certified, and most of all, B Corp is foundational to who we are. Nestle sees our value and wants to help us as we pursue our mission. Now, this guy sold out for money. Money. Anybody who could believe that Nestle, Nestle, Nestle. Why Nestle is one of the most hated companies in the world. Child labor, unethical promotion, manipulating uneducated mothers, pollution, price fixing, and mislabeling. Nestle is the world's largest foodstuff company, and it has a history that would make even hardcore industrialists shiver. And you can read this article if you don't know anything about Nestle. It, it's up there with Monsanto, Bayer. Wow. Okay. Um, you know, I do very often get these comments from subscribers who feel I hate Christians. I do not hate Christians. I hate hypocrisy. So here you have it once again in your face. And there are an awful lot of articles. I'm not sure if I copied the right one, but with people commenting, commenting saying Christian hypocrisy. It's not just me. And it's most, not all. 
So Garden of Life sells out to evil corporate giant Nestle. So, yeah, I, it's, it was a huge betrayal of Garden of Life customers. Now, this article was just posted on the 11th. See which produce has the most pesticides. The Dirty Dozen List. And I'm not going to read the article. I'm just going to read the Dirty Dozen List and the Clean List. Strawberries, spinach, nectarines, apples, grapes, peaches, cherries, pe pears, tomatoes, celery, potatoes, and sweet bell peppers have been saturated with 10 or 15 pesticides, fungicides, herbicides, and that is considered the norm. Seven billion pounds of pesticides are used annually worldwide. So, these, and even when it says organic, if you are not buying local organic and you're buying organic shipped in, when they put them in the trucks, they spray these preservative, preservatives on them, which are not good for your health. Very hard. It is very hard to find real organic. And in fact, uh, let's see what's, I'm sorry, this posted by University of California, Berkeley. What makes produce organic? Contrary to what most people believe, organic does not automatically mean pesticide free or chemical free. In fact, under the laws of most states, organic farmers are allowed to use a wide variety of chemical sprays and powders on their crops. So what does organic mean? It means that these pesticides, if used, must be derived from natural sources, not synthetically manufactured. Well, unfortunately, tests have shown that just like the non-organic pesticides, half of them being found to be carcinogenic, and they're spraying this on our food, organic pesticides are also found half, half of those. What organic farmers are using, half of them are carcinogenic as well. So, for obvious reasons, organic farmers have done little, if anything, to dispel the myth that organic equals chemical pesticide free. They would only stand to lose business by making such a disclosure. So yes, we have a problem with Americans who simply want money and it trumps all other values. Organic farmers present as if they are producing food that, well, they care about you and they care about your health. But they will not disclose that they too are using chemical pesticides that are carcinogenic. And you can read this article, is your organic produ produce really pesticide free? Some organic inputs may have questionable safety records, say some. Um, so what what is the produce that you can find that has the least pesticide use? Avocados, Sweet corn? Hmm. Uh, I would say corn has been taken over. And it's all GMO. So this, this article is specific to the pesticides. Pineapples, cabbages, onions, sweet peas frozen, papayas, asparagus, mangoes, 
eggplants, honeydew, kiwis, cantaloupe, cauliflower, and broccoli. Now, those companies out there that are claiming to be organic, many of them have sold out, just like Garden of Life sold out to Nestle. Many of those smaller companies that are still, they still have their products on the shelf, they're still going by the same name, and so many people actually believe that these products are still organic or non-GMO. Stonyfield is one of those products. I used to buy Stonyfield organic yogurt. And I knew something had changed because its consistency was different. Its taste was different. So I went to look. What happened to Stonyfield? And found out that it sold out. Can't remember the company, but we'll get to it in a second. So, who are those companies? Annie's sold out to General Mills. And that is a company that feeds its cows GMOs. You know that cheese, Annie's? Okay. Um, the uh, macaroni and cheese. GMO. Applegate Farms sold out to Hormel, another pro-GMO company. Cascadian Farm, General Mills. Silk, White Wave, a spin-off company of the massive pro-GMO corporation Dean Foods, switched from non-GMO to GMO soybeans without telling their customers. Silk, a whole lot of people believe they're buying a product that's good for them, they're drinking genetically modified soy. Earthbound Farms, White Wave again. White Wave, the uh, subsidiary of the GMO corporation Dean Foods. R.W. Nudson, Smuckers. Dagoba Chocolate, Hershey's, Stonyfield, Organic yogurt is Danon or Danone Group of France. And as well, Brown Cow sold out. And the same company, they are the Avian Water Company. These companies are, they're all about their bottom line. So when they gobble up all of these small companies that, well, Initially, they were great companies, but they're gobbling up these companies. And then the product changes. And they're not telling their customers. Honest Tea and Odwalla, Coca-Cola. Horizon, a white wave, a white wave, pro-GMO subsidiary of Dean Foods. Dave Killer Bread. Uh, Dave handed over his baby to the pro-GMO food corporation Flowers Food, owners of Wonder Bread. And what did Dave say when he was asked if he sold out? He responded, that's what I did. That's what we did. Morning Star, uh, Kashi, Bear, Naked, Kellogg's. Boca and Back to Nature, Kraft, Toms of Maine, Colgate, Burt's Bees, Clorox, Garden of Eden, Arrowhead Mills, Spectrum Organics, Earth's Best, Health Valley, Valley, sorry, Kajva, Image, Rice Dream, Soy Dream, Tofu Town and West Soy, Hain Celestial, Heinz Corporation. Naked Juice, Pepsi. Humboldt Creamery, Foster Farms. Erwan, Post Foods. New Chapter, which is a company that makes natural vitamin supplements, Procter & Gamble. And here's a list of more. 
Barbara's is Weedabix food. Bare Naked Kellogg. Ben and Jerry's Organic Unilever. Bolt House Farms Campbell Soup. Food should taste good. General Mills. Gerber Organic. Well, if you're buying Gerber and you think you're buying organic, it's kind of like buying those bananas from Dole. Organic ba ba bananas from Dole. No, it's not organic. But Gerber Organic Baby Food is Nestle. Green and Blacks. <sighs> Cadbury. Happy Baby Organic. Dannon. Health Valley. Hain Celestial. Merglin. Cascadian Farm. And Cascadian Farm. Well, I just read it and it's up above, but it was bought, bought by a corporation. Organic Cow of Vermont Horizon. And Horizon was bought by, can't remember, but Plum Organic Baby Food, Campbell's, Santa Cruz Organic, Schmuckers, Seeds of Change, M&M Mars, Saw a Dream, Hain, Spectrum Organics, Hain Celestial, Stone Mill, Anheuser-Busch, which is no longer an American company. Uh, they sold out to... Can't remember. Sorry. Um, Vans, Hillshire Farms, Whispray, Hain Celestial, Westoy, Wholesome and Hardy. Westoy is Hain Celestial, Wholesome and Hardy, Kellogg, Wolfgang Puck, Campbell's Soup. Now, the good news, there are still companies out there. And this is the list. App, Apple and Eve, uh, Betty Lou's Bars, Bio Nature, Bob's Red Mill, Bragg Foods. Though I have to say Bragg Foods, the apple cider, I have noticed that it seems diluted. Diluted. And, you know, all of the pulp that used to be in that apple cider vinegar, I can't find it anymore. It, uh, it looks like the crap apple cider vinegar that is sold in supermarkets. Bragg apple cider vinegar is also sold in supermarkets, but it does not look the same. Um, other companies, there's a lot of them, which is good. Eden Organic. Uh, Lotus, Nature Factor, Nature's Path, Newman's Own Organics. You know, you buy, the, people buy organic microwave popcorn. You, you cannot have organic microwave popcorn. What, what coats the bag so the popcorn doesn't stick to the bag as it's being fried by microwaves all of the coating on that bag have very um, toxic chemicals which leaches into the popcorn that you eat. Now Foods, Nut Burgers, Nativa, Organic Valley. So we still have companies that haven't sold out yet. So, what I need to do is take a look at, this was January 19, 2016, it's now April 2018, so all of the non-sellouts, you need to do research because they could have sold out within that period of time. So, I will link below to all of the articles. I'm just saying that, look, I think the only possible way that we can get decent food, and I say decent because we have the aerosol spraying that, well, all of those toxic chemicals and heavy metals, and biologicals, and all the fungi that they are spraying upon us 
is coming down on organic farms. You might not have the pesticides if you buy it locally, if you know who the organic farmer is and you actually know what they are doing to their produce. That's, that's how bad things have, they have so taken over the food supply um, that, well, control the food, you control the population. And that was the point. I suppose the only possible way you could get real organic food is if you are buying it from a farmer that has a greenhouse protecting it from the aerosol spray and using soils that have not been contaminated by the decades of geoengineering. Alright guys, <laughs> what a world we are living in.